Greetings and welcome back to this absolutely freezing cold workshop. Since the last video, I've put on these, there's two here, and two on the other side, pieces of angle. I didn't think that was that interesting to see me put those on, but those are there for extra strength around the horn opening. And on the front, it gives a bit more material for the spring to sit against. I've also discovered a problem with the rear kick plate frame spacer. Well, not so much the plate, this angle. That side, perfectly fine. All the holes line up. This one, strangely enough, doesn't fit. The holes line up to the plate, but they don't line up to the main frame. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a chalk mark. So I think I knew that this one was wrong. But as I did it last year, I can't remember. So I need to make a new one of these today and then we're going to make a, a piece of angle that goes on the inside here to support where the seat goes. A piece on there will help that keep that rigid although it doesn't look like it's going to bend but you never know. So if we put a piece of angle on we'll be safer than sorry. I'm also going to use counter sinks on this because this is where your legs go. We've got all these nuts and bolts that are here already. I don't want ones here that we could catch our feet on getting in and out. We've already got enough obstacles and it's small enough as it is. fits it bolts together although now we've got to take it apart so we can put the piece of angle line on the back <sighs> so here is our rear frame spacer kick plate i've cut a piece of angle it's just a bit of 30 by 30 that's the smallest i've got at the minute so we're going to put that on there we're going to set it down two and a half mil so that we can put a sheet just to protect any water splashing up because I think the bottom of the seat will probably be wood. Now looking at this, if you look how close that edge is there to that hole, uh, I think best is I'm going to notch out the, the corners and then uh, we'll just put three bolts in. We'll countersink the other side in this plate for some M8 countersinks. So we'll start with notching them out. We'll notch it 40 mil.
Right, that's going to give us plenty of clearance to get them uh, bolts in. Right, so I'll, need, I'll mark a line on here and we'll mark some holes. I'll clamp it on and then we'll, we'll get it drilled. Spacer, kick plate in. It's now ready for the checker plate floor to go in, but we're going to do that once we turn her over. So if you like what you've seen in the video, please do give it a like and that will help it spread a bit further. You can also click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified of when we next release a video. Join me next time for more trials and tribulations on the steam engine. Laters! <laughs>